Howard with us. He's a Dallas metal guy from way back. So we are doing Metal Chug. Iron nice. Maiden beer. I think this is like the fourth one. As I started looking around, we can keep this series going for a while because apparently every metal band from the 80s has a beer now, which is kind of rad. But here we go with old school metal. Because I'm sure at some point in time you had Eddie on a poster in your bedroom. Man. If you're like, Eddie, Eddie was the coolest. Dude, everybody had Eddie pinned up somewhere. Dude, yeah. and Eddie's on the horseback with a tattered flag and a sword just getting ready to behead whatever beer drinker is in front of him <laughs> that doesn't like this shit. We have no idea what this is. This is the Trooper Light Brigade. Looks like it's only a 4.1. And it just says in style, it says Golden Beer. No idea what it's a golden, golden beer. beer. Golden <laughs> it's, beer. All right. it's golden beer. I like when it doesn't say ale or lager, it says beer. So this show, you're here with us, man, because you guys are getting back together. All the local Dallas metal scene is hyped for, for that, but we're sad about the Curtain Club. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, the... yeah. It's it's uh it's been a long time coming. There was a there was a time when Deep Ellum was going through that that low yeah. period where where almost everything down here got shut down. And Curtain Club was pretty much the only thing that that uh, that held it together through, yeah. the, through the leanest times. And um, and this is the uh, curtain call, so to speak, for Curtain Club. So but they're uh, bringing you guys back together <clears throat> to do the Curtain Call. Yeah. With Drowning yeah. Pool? With Drowning Pool, yeah. This is ridiculous. Drowning Pool, this is Grace, awesome. Eagle Snake. It's going to be a badass Well, show. give them the date, and then let's get to this yeah. golden June 30th. Beer. <laughs> June 30th at the Curtain Club. If you're in Dallas, go check them out. And until then, let's get into this golden the, beer. The man. golden so beer. The, you check out, like to check out the vintage on it. Yeah, yeah you got to do the... It, uh, I, it smells like good. golden beer, yeah. quite frankly. <laughs> Whatever a golden beer smells like, I would say that's it. Oh. Very good description, wasn't it? Um, whoa, it's a, uh, it's bitter, a little hoppy. It's bitter, but it's not a, it's not what I'd normally think of like as a hoppy bitterness. What we're used to in craft beers, you know what I mean? You don't get that. Uh, not really getting that grapefruity thing. Don't get that real pine tree thing or any of those different things you get with hops. Normally, we associate in craft beers. I'm not trying to say Iron Maiden that this isn't a craft beer. This has hoppy and fruity flavor with citrus grapefruit kick. You get any of that? I'm not getting the grapefruit. I don't get any all. grapefruit. Uh, getting a little hoppy. It says balance to give a rounded but lasting after palate. Now that, they got it. That shit lingers yeah. around for a yeah, minute. Yeah, it's there. It's still there. And I'm still not convinced that the lingering around is something I'm really down with. But, I mean, it's a... Uh, <clears throat> It tastes a little heavy swallow, but it's not hard to get down. It doesn't, you know. I'm not, I'm not what you call a true beer drinker. Right. And and I can palate. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can, I can, I can, it, uh, you know, the, the real beer, beer drinkers are going to want that super hot. <laughs> you know, like the, the beer you almost got to chew. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's definitely yeah, not it. This not thing this, definitely drinks this. easily. I'll say that. I smell. I only smell what I smell like as being a generic golden beer. Like I'm the worst. Uh, I'm being a, like the worst descriptor right now. I don't. I can't. I don't get cool horse blankets oh, or yeah. horse apples in Morning Dew or anything of that nature. It uh. You know. God damn. I don't know. That just smells like what generically beer would smell like if I was 13 and smelling a beer for the first time. Let's see if they say. Let's see if they at least say what hops it is because man, I'm not. It says Chinook and Golding. Okay. I'm, I don't know, man. I can't say I'm tasting either one of those, but. <laughs> All right, so it's it? easy to drink. It's light. It's bitter. It is uh, very well descriptive as golden beer. It is we'll golden. that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, on that, I don't really know how I rate this. So instead of rating it, let's just score it. Let's see if it gets two points. At this point, man, we go into it. Sure. Yeah, all right. That was yeah, easy. I could do yeah. seven of those pretty easily. We can knock seven. Back. June thirtieth. June thirtieth. Check them out the Curtain at the Curtain Club. Club. Y'all keep Pool. checking us out. Made of grace. Y'all uh, <laughs> Down low. Go, 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 go. <laughs> pour it on, pour it on. Y'all subscribe to this stuff. Give us some comments. Let us know what you think about metal beers. It's bitter, and it's golden. It's officially golden beer. It seems true to style. Iron Maiden. Support Eddie.